Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I am Ace and I have some more Guild Wars 2 content here for you. This time I'm going to show you the character customization of the char, both male and female. Just keep in mind guys, this is beta, things might be able to change. And I will keep you guys up to date if I can. But let's just go straight into the character customization for the char, which are of course the, the beast-like warrior type creatures that you don't want to mess with. And as every race in this game, you have 8 classes to pick from. The mage type, the warrior type, the guardian type, the engineer type, which is a pretty awesome class. The ranger, which actually looks pretty badass considering. Necromancer, the thief, and the mesmer. And we'll go with the warrior because that's basically the way to go with a char, or that's, that's how they are represented. And within the character customization, within Guild Wars 2 there are a lot of options and that is a pretty awesome thing. You can change the height, the physique of your character, do you want to have a bulky character or perhaps a skinny character. We'll go with bulky for this, uh, for the purpose of this video. And as you can see you can actually change the color of your fur and also change the pattern of your fur depending on what you like. Or perhaps have no pattern at all. And there are a lot of colors available. Dark blue, black, and even the lighter colors as you can already tell from here. It's all up to you. There's a lot of options available and I really like it within a game like this. You have a lot of you know a lot of options for hair considering, but let's be honest, you are a char, you are a badass. Hair is not your main priority, as you can tell, because they have not they don't have a lot of hairstyles, so let's go with a basic one. Yeah, seems to be alright. A lot of colors available. And if you do have accessories in your hair. You can actually change the colors of them as well. With the bottom colors here, as you can see, added a little bit of red. Why not? You can change your face. And, you know, if you don't entirely like a face completely, you can always change it a little bit, you know, further into the character customization. So stay tuned. Horns. There's nine horns you can choose from right now. And if you don't entirely like, for example, the size of... Do you, you like the horns but not the size? Don't worry, you can change that further into the character customization, just I was saying about the face as well. And this is pretty awesome. You can change the, you know, the, the color of your eyes, as well as the angle, the size, even where the brows are placed. It is pretty detailed, which is very awesome. It's a blessing and it's a curse for people like me, because I like to spend a lot of time creating the perfect character. And then you spend the entire game with the helm on your face. That's how it goes. Like I was saying about the face, you can change the face a little bit. You can change the jaw, the muzzle a little bit, even the size of your teeth, nose, and make it just the way you want it. As well as the horns and the ears. Yes, by the way, these things right here are ears, as you can see. I thought they were whiskers or something to begin with, but apparently these are ears, which you can change in length and thickness, as well as the length of the horns. And once you have done that, you get to go to the armor. And the, the best thing about the armor dies is that you can customize the color of your armor. And this includes in the armor that you will be able to equip in the future as well. They will always have the same color pattern you will set here or within the game. Because just because you have the color set here doesn't mean it's set in stone. You can, whenever you like, at what random time, no matter where you are in the game, you can change the color of your armor without any kind of fee, which is pretty, pretty awesome. And as you can see right here, you can just change the colors. You can make it as bright as you want, or as epic as you want, or as crazy as you want. It's all up to you. You can just change the colors depending on what armor piece you want to change. I'm gonna get rid of that green because it is actually bothering me. You can just change it the way you like. It's, it's pretty awesome. And then once you are done with your look, you can actually change or choose your personality, what drives you. Which also affects certain quests you will have to take or are able to take in the game, which is pretty awesome. First of all, you have to basically uh, choose a part of your personality. As you can see, for example, at the bottom of the screen, this, this helm represents a certain personality type. Or your motivation in this case. And the best part is, it's actually the helm which you will start off with. If I change the helm, you can actually see on the character as well, it changes the helm. And 
It is pretty awesome because then the beginning players will actually see what kind of personality you have and you also represent your personality by wearing this thing at the beginning of the game. Or you don't go with a helm at all because as the description said, says my enemies will cringe and falter when they see the fearless determination on my face. So who needs a helm? You are a bloody char. You are a badass. And once you are done with deciding how badass of a char you are, you can choose your personality. Are you a charmer? Perhaps you have a little bit of dignity. Or you are just a beast that just kills everybody because you can. You also have to choose your faction that you have within the you know the legions of the char. Are you a warrior that goes to the front lines? Are you a thief that sneaks about? Or are you a Iron Legion, which mainly persists out of engineers, of course. But it doesn't matter. Even if you are a warrior, you can still join it. No problem at all. Also, you have to choose your best friend, which basically for a char is their sparring partner, as far as I can tell right now. And there are... You have, you have quite a choice of sparring partners that you can have. And you will also see them at the very beginning, once you have created your character, which is pretty awesome. So do you want a Maverick, which is a single combat fighter? A little bit of a stubborn bastard, but it's a good guy and a good fighter, which is the most important thing. Perhaps Uriel, which is a mage, and you know, you trust him, or her actually. A Clasper, which is basically a thief, really, really dangerous, but really, really calm. Dinky, pretty much a dumbass, but he's a loyal person and he's a good friend. Or Reva, which is basically... Uh, an engineer who is just pretty badass. I chose this one for my own personal char. Really sharp sense of humor, etc, etc. As well as you have to choose the background story that you have, or in this case the background story of your sire. It, was it a loyal soldier? Do you want to live up to its reputation? Was it a sorcerer shaman, perhaps, who was mistrusted? Or is it just straight up a honorless, an honorless gladium that just screwed your entire life over, apparently. Once you are done with that, you can pretty much see in a summary that looks like a contract what you have chosen. You create your character name and then go play the game. And that's for the male. We're going into the female right now, doing it a little bit easier and a little bit faster as you can see because the video is getting a little bit on the long side. But once again, eight classes. Nothing has changed besides the fact that you are now a female char, as you can see, without armor, as well as with the armor. The size can be changed, the physique can be changed, made be a little bit more bulky or a little bit more skinnier. The fur can change, as you can see it when we hide the armor. With the female chars, they have a little, their patterns are a little, at least less extreme, was the wording I was looking for, as you can see right here. Their head options, they have just pretty much the same amount of hairstyles, pretty much the same amount of faces, may they be very scary or less scary. Horns that are available, and they have a little, their horns are a little bit more creative, I think, because as you can see, their horns have a, a, a gear in it, which I think is pretty awesome. Face detail, details are pretty much the same, you can change the eye color or the way the eye looks on its own. You can customize the face, as you can see right here, teeth size, jaw, muzzle, or the nose itself. You can customize the length of your horns, the ears, and with the female chars, the ears are a little bit more visible, as you can see. And of course, the armor dies, pretty much the same thing. Nothing is set in stone. Whenever you want, within the game, you can change the colors of your gear to fit your own personal style or gear that you are currently wearing. And the styles will, the color of your gear will transfer to gear that you might equip from quests or drops. Which is pretty awesome. Once again you have basically the item that represents a certain part of your personality or what drives you. Which is kind of awesome. The personality itself, charmer, dignity or ferocity. Of course the legion that you have joined may be blood, ash or iron. And of course, your sparring partner. Maybe Maverick, Ariel, Clasper, Dinky, or Riva. 
and of course the back background story of indeed your character or in this fact the background story that you have with your sire may be a loyal, s a loyal soldier a sorceress shaman or honorless gladium once again you get a summary you can choose your name hopefully it's not taken and then you can play and this pretty much is the char customization as you can see there's a lot of options available so you can have a field day with that make sure to stay tuned make sure to subscribe for more content and if you have any requests guys let me know in the comments below and just keep in mind this is all beta so things can change i will catch you guys later